Welcome everyone. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I know I did. And I just wanted to show off a couple cool things that I received. And the first is this silver knife. And boy, I am really digging this thing. It is in excellent shape. And when I say silver, the entire thing is silver, including the blade. It does have the initials on it. Let's just flip it over here. It says MRK. So maybe it was an MK Bars family member that once owned this. Look at the cool intricate flower design on it. It's just beautiful. And this is called a fruit knife. People carried this around a long time ago. This was to remove the, the seeds out of fruit. I'm going to flip it over. Look how good a shape this is. Just amazing. Now up there... There are going to be some marks called hallmarks, and right in the middle, there is a anchor. And I went ahead and looked it up online, and this means it was made between 1830 and 1870. Uh, there's a line on the left, the one on the right I cannot tell. If I was able to tell it, I could actually tell where the exact date, but with the lion, I looked it up, and it is made in Birmingham. So this is an 1830 to 1890 Birmingham made, and it's a fruit knife. And man, this is cool. It is not sharp. I mean, not totally. I might sharpen it up since I have those skills, and I do hand sharpen with a whetstone. I have done it many a time, so I'm not too worried about losing a little bit of silver. But this was probably a woman's knife. Notice the smaller size. But uh, even on the back, it just has amazing details all the way along. And my wife said that she got this on eBay for only $50. I have been looking for a couple of years for one of these, and they're always in the $200 price range if they're this nice. So we got a steal. Love it. All right. I wanted to show off one other cool thing, though. I'm at my mom's. And I'm trying to discuss some coins. I show her a couple cool silver coins. In fact, the first one I showed her was the Kraken. Everybody got a kick out of it. They loved it. And she goes and picks up a couple coins that she had. And she pulls out this one. And if you notice, it was missing two staples. Now, all the rest of hers were stapled. Like, she had some Benjamin Franklins. And they were in basically mint condition. She wouldn't let me touch those. But she said I could have this 66 Kennedy. All right, you guys ready? Because this is kind of cool. Since it's been sitting in her house for decades. And it was opened like that. I brought it home immediately. And I put it in this capsule. Because look at this thing. It is just beautiful. It's got colors all over it. Especially on the sides over here. Depending on the light you get it in, you'll be able to see some pinks and some purples I'm just gonna kind of move it slow here and it's got a gold tone 66 he's got some red even up on his hair but oh man it is cool I've never owned anything toned like this before so I thought I better come home put it in a capsule the back had a little bit of toning on the bottom down here but not a lot. Let's go back to the front. That's the amazing side. I mean, it almost looks gold with his frosted tips going on and such, but it is definitely silver, 40%. But look at the colors. Isn't that cool? I am digging this. I have no idea if I'm supposed to send this in and get it graded, or do I just keep it in the capsule? So if anybody knows, please let me know. This is just way too cool. I've never owned anything with toning on it like this that's natural. And Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Best Christmas gifts that she didn't know she even got me. All right, well, that was fun. I thought I'd show it off, though, because compared to a Kraken, it is just way different. Got some of those colors all over. I one day hope this Kraken will turn like that, but I'm not that hopeful. <laughs>
All right. Well, I thought I'd share a little bit of this cool coin. Because everybody needs a little colors on Christmas, right? Super cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. This is Wawa Stacker. Everybody have a good one.